Hi, I'm Maria, and this is my daughter, Vasi. Today, we're going to guide you through a short yoga session for teens. Now, I say teens, but this is for kids anywhere from ages 7 to 15, give or take. Some of the great benefits of having your child do some yoga can really help during this time if they're feeling any kind of stress, depression, anxiety. Yoga can also boost their confidence, increase their body awareness, and just all over make them feel better. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. The most important thing to remember is just to have fun and take it easy. So we're going to start laying down on our mat and we're going to lay all the way down. We're going to let our knees touch. And we're going to bring the feet to the outside of our sticky mat. You can place one hand on your heart and one hand to your belly. And we're just going to call this feeling breath. So I just want you to start taking some nice, long, slow breaths, inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the nose or the mouth. And the most important thing to remember about yoga is there's no right or wrong. Don't think about it. Actually, just let go of your thoughts. Have fun and just enjoy breathing into your body. So breathing alone has a lot of great benefits. It can improve or boost your memory, control, concentration. It automatically relaxes your nervous system. And it also boosts your immune system. And if you're having a hard time focusing on the breath, you can count the breath. So let's go ahead here and inhale for a count of five and exhale for a count of seven. So let's inhale for five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five, Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Go ahead and continue breathing, counting the breath. Or just continue inhaling and exhaling through your nose or through your mouth. When you're ready, let's go ahead and reach our legs out long. Reach your arms overhead. Take a really deep stretch like that first stretch when you're waking up in the morning. And let's exhale, hug our thighs deep in towards our chest. Just rock a little bit left to right, side to side. And this should feel really good on your lower back. And then we're going to come to center and we're going to work into our lower belly, our abs. So having a strong body will also build your confidence. Inhale through the nose and as you exhale, we're going to keep holding our knees and shins. We're going to exhale, draw your nose to your knees, even if it doesn't touch. Inhale, lower down. Exhale, curl yourself up nice like a nice little tight ball. Inhale, lower your head down. Exhale, curl up. Let's do two more. Inhale, lower down. Exhale, keep your shoulders nice and relaxed. Last one here. Inhale and exhale, curl up and release your head down. Bring your feet to the floor. We're going to go into a bridge pose. Hands down to your sides. We're going to inhale, lift the hips all the way up. And we're going to exhale, lower those sit bones back down continue like that. You're just going to inhale, lift up and exhale, lower down. Keep looking up towards the ceiling so you don't injure your neck. And bridge pose is a really great pose if you're ever feeling a little tired, a little sluggish, like in the middle of your day or when you have a break from your schoolwork. Doing a couple bridge poses will help to get rid of any sluggish or fatigued feelings. Let's go ahead and hold the hips all the way up 
And then if you want, you can interlace your hands underneath you. And we're going to hold this a couple breaths here. So I want you to just continue breathing. And remember, there's no right or wrong in the breath. You're just inhaling through the nose and you're exhaling through the nose. Do you feel that, Vasi, in your lower legs? Yeah. So that's just your body working. Bridge is also a great immune booster and a self-confidence booster. This is a great pose if you have any kind of depression or stress. Let's slowly lower our sit bones down. Let your knees touch again. Walk your feet to the outside of your sticky mat. Open your arms to a T and let's let our legs go over to the right side and to center and to the left and center and let's just continue like this so again just i call this windshield wipering our knees so this is great because i'm assuming most of you are sitting in a chair or laying in your bed most of the day or on a couch so bridge is a great back strengthener and this pose is a great lower back Go ahead and hug our thighs back in towards our chest. And we're just going to rock and roll here. Just have some fun with it. You're just going to roll forward and rock yourself back. And you might feel silly. That's fine. You're just rocking back and forward. No right or wrong. Just have fun with it. You can even close your eyes if you like or keep them open. Inhale and exhale. Let's do one more. Inhale, rock back and exhale bring your feet to the floor let's go into what we call reverse table so you're going to bring your hands back behind you spread your toes out and lift your hips all the way up towards the ceiling hold this let's lower our sit bones down let's take a v-sit or what we call a boat reach forward towards me like you're gonna touch me grab my hands inhale back into our reverse table. So this is a great pose. Maybe you even feel your heart rate kind of going up. This is great. We're just going to uh, alternate between boat and reverse table. So this is a great energizing pose. You already feel your heart rate going up, Vasi. So again, if you're feeling a little tired, you know, like you can't keep your eyes open, do these two poses and you'll really feel your body and your mind clearing and energizing. Last one, cross your feet, come into a seated position, reach your arms all the way up. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart center. Let's take a minute here, close your eyes if it feels good or keep your eyes open. Let's take a couple more feeling breaths here. So just breathe in through your nose and out through your nose or your mouth. Two more, inhale. And breathing alone can help to calm down your nervous system. It can also energize your body. If you're feeling a little anxious, just take a couple nice deep, deep breaths and it'll help calm your nervous system. Let's twist it out here. So let's reach the arms all the way up towards the ceiling. Take your left hand to your right knee, and then take your right hand behind you. Inhale, lift up like you're gonna touch the ceiling and exhale, twist your body out and smile, right? So I want you guys to take a huge smile or even I want you to laugh out loud to yourself. Hey, Vas. All right, so the reason we're doing that, I know it sounds really silly, but sometimes if we're feeling really tense or really tight and we can't think, sometimes just smiling, it automatically relaxes everything in your body. It makes you feel better and hopefully a little bit happier. All right, let's go back to center. Inhale, reach your arms all the way up. Bring your right hand to your left knee and your left hand behind you. Grow really tall and then twist. So imagine that your sit bones or your tushy are like the roots of a tree and they're grounding you down into the floor and the, your head is like the branches of the tree. It's growing straight up towards the ceiling, lifting you, lengthening you. And as you exhale, maybe twist a little bit more. 
Inhale, bring those arms all the way back up. Exhale, bring your hands down, and let's make our way to all, four, all fours. Shift back so you're on the center of your mat, and let's take star fingers here with your hands, so really spread them out wide, and let's shift our sit bones back to what's called, sometimes it's called child's pose, or you can call it rock pose, right? So when you're in rock pose, nothing can hurt you or harm you, right? Just like a hard rock. Like think about, you know, the rain or any kind of feelings you have are just sliding right off of your back. And as you continue breathing, remember you're boosting your self-confidence, your immune system, you're letting go of stress, fatigue, anxiety, any kind of negative feelings, just allow yourself to let them slide right off of you here in your rock pose. This is also a nice pose to come into if you need some rest. And let's slowly come up onto all fours and we're going to draw our heart forward in what we call cow pose. And then we're going to tuck our toes under and shift back to a downward facing dog. Great job, guys. Let's do that again. Lower your knees down. Draw your heart forward. Cow pose. Let's take a cat stretch. So really round your back. Look towards your belly like a big angry cat. Inhale. Draw your heart forward. Cow pose. Tuck your toes. Downward facing dog. You can shake your head out here. Even open your mouth. Stay there, Vasi, and stretch your jaw. So you can go like this. And you're down dog. I know that looks really silly, but what happens when we're typing all day on our iPads or our laptops for school or whatever you're doing, sometimes our shoulders and our jaw get really tight and tense. And so that will really help to release some of that tension. Let's do that one more time. Lower the knees. Draw your heart forward. You can even do that here. Let's do that, Vasi. Inhale through the nose. Open your mouth. <laughs> Stick your tongue out. Inhale. Open mouth. <sighs> One more. Inhale. Exhale. <sighs> we call that cow's breath. That also gets rid of any kind of negative feelings or tension that you have in your body. Let's tuck our toes and shift back to our downward facing dog. Reach your right leg up towards the ceiling and reach it straight up like you're going to touch the ceiling here. Let's just hold this for three, two, three one and slowly lower your right leg down left side inhale left leg reaches all the way up soften your shoulders and hold this for three two one lower your left leg have your feet about hip distance apart let's walk our hands back towards our feet hang loose here just like a little rag doll you can grab opposite elbows just feel a really nice stretch in your lower back in your hamstrings. This is a great pose to have if you ever really need to relax. If you can't sleep at night, come into a nice forward fold and it'll really help to relax your mind, preparing you for bed. We're gonna ragdoll roll it up. So you're gonna bend your knees, you're gonna let your arms just hang really heavy. You can even kind of let them swing out a little bit here. You're gonna slowly roll yourself up into standing. Take a huge shoulder roll and smile. How are you guys feeling? How are you feeling, Vasi? Good, I hope you guys are feeling good too. All right, let's take some shoulder rolls. So let's just stand at the back of our mat, feet are hip distance apart. I'm just gonna roll those shoulders out, right? So again, if you're on your iPad all day or your laptop, your computer, our shoulders can get really tight and tense. And sometimes when we're rolling the shoulders back, they even feel tight and tense. And I can assure you that we're not creating that tension with these shoulder rolls. We're actually releasing all of it. So this is a really good pose to have in your back pocket. All right, relax your shoulders down. Let's do some neck rolls. So you're, you're just gonna drop your chin to your chest. I'm sure you guys have all done these. So again, this is no, there's no right or wrong. You're just circling the head. You can even imagine that like you're drawing a circle with your chin. And then take it the opposite direction. All right, and 
slowly come to neutral. Let's go ahead and step all the way towards the front of our mat. And then this is called mountain pose. We're gonna inhale, reach the arms all the way up, and we're gonna take an open arm twist. So we're gonna bring our hands parallel, reach our right hand back, left hand forward. Inhale, reach the arms up. You can bend the knees if you want, reach your left hand back, your right hand forward. Inhale, reach your arms all the way up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, monkey pose. Let's step back to plank pose, top of a push up. Hold your plank. This is really great core strengthener, overall body strengthener, and the stronger you are, the more confident you're gonna be. Let's inhale here, exhale into our downward facing dog. Great job, Vasi. Can you step your feet forward in between your hands? Great job. Inhale, reach your arms all the way up towards the ceiling. Bring them down halfway. Let's take that open arm twist again. Reach your right hand back, left hand forward. You can bend your knees if you need to. Inhale, let's reach the arms up. Exhale, left hand back, right hand forward. Smile, inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart center. Take a few moments, just take a couple nice deep breaths. All right, we're gonna inhale, open our eyes, reach your arms to the ceiling, reach your hands back behind you. Vasi, you stay as you are. I'm just gonna turn so you guys can see me. And you're just gonna reach your arms back, stretch them back like you're gonna touch that wall behind you. Lift your toes, soften your shoulders. This is a great pose if you're a little depressed, a little anxious, a great chest opener. It's great because if you're on your computer again, laptop, Whatever device you're working on, we tend to round our shoulders forward. We can get a lot of upper back and shoulder tightness, so this will release all of that. And then just let those arms go and shake them out a little. Let's just shake it out, have a little fun. All right, let's take star pose. So you're gonna step wide on your mat. Your toes are gonna turn out, your heels are gonna turn in, just like it sounds, like a star. Get your star fingers out, right? A star's got five points. Reach up, inhale, let's do some squats. We're gonna exhale, some lunges, inhale. Reach the arms up, exhale, lower down. Inhale, so if you're ever a little tired while you're doing your work and you need to energize, here you go. Star pose, squats. Last one, hold it up. Let's take triangle pose to the back of the room. You're gonna turn your uh, left toes in, right toes out. Bring your arms down halfway, hinge from your hips, lower your right hand down. Left hand's reaching straight up towards the ceiling. Let your eyes close if it feels good to you or keep them open. If you close your eyes, it really challenges your balance. Give me one huge breath here, inhale. And exhale it all out. <sighs> Pull yourself up here. Turn your right toes in, left toes out. Inhale to begin. Exhale, hinge. Lower your left hand. Reach your right star hand all the way up towards the ceiling. Relax your shoulders. Smile. And remember to breathe. So the more you breathe, the yoga pose will get easier. And you're also de-stressing and energizing your body at the same time. You're boosting your immune system, your ability to focus and control your memory and concentration. Inhale, coming all the way up. And let's step forward to the front of our mat, reach your arms up. Exhale, hands to the heart center. Great job. Let's close here with tree pose. So tree pose is just a nice balancing pose, right? So we're gonna start by grounding down through your right foot, lift up um, your left foot, and then bring it right into your right inner thigh. All right, so you can touch the floor if you're having a hard time balancing. And then pick one spot on the floor, don't move your eyes. So, right, so finding some balance here, right? So we get thrown off balance all the time. 
It's a great pose to help you find your balance. Remember, the stronger you feel in your body, the more confident you're gonna feel in your mind. You can challenge yourself by reaching your arms up towards the sky, get those star fingers out. Taking a huge breath and release it out. Shake it out if you need to. Get your blood flow going here. And let's switch sides. So feet hip distance apart. We're gonna bend the right knee and bring it to the left inner thigh. Hands to your heart center. Give me a big, huge smile. Soften your shoulders. Remember your toe can touch the floor if you need it to. Draw your right knee back. So feel this opening through your hips. It's a great pose too because if we're doing a lot of sitting, our hips start to get really tight. Find your balance. Feel strong, feel confident. You are. Give yourself some positive affirmation. So you can say things to yourself like, I can do this. I am strong. I've got this. I'm confident. I'm in control. And slowly release. Shake it out a little bit here if you need to. And from here, we're going to lower back down onto the floor. We're going to inhale, reach the arms overhead. Exhale, hinge and fold forward. Halfway up. We're going to step our right leg back and our left leg back into our plank pose. Lower your knees down and shift back into your rock pose. You can bring your hands back towards your side. And I just want you guys to feel your shoulders relaxing and releasing. Take in a couple nice deep breaths. Now we're going to stay here about three to five minutes. You can stay right here in your rock pose if that feels good. Or you can flip over like Vasi and just come onto your back and do more of a traditional Shavasana. Laying down on your back, hands out at your side. Stay as you are, Vasi. I'll guide you through your Shavasana. So as Vasi is here, what you could do is if you're at home, go ahead and stay there, Vasi. Actually, I don't think I have my eye pillow. Find a little washcloth, you guys, and put it right over your eyes. Close your eyes, Vasi. So what this does is when we're looking at our computers and our iPads all day, our eyes sometimes need to um, reset. So by even just closing your eyes for a few seconds helps your eyes to reset from all of that bright light. And you can further do that by blocking out all of the light by turning the lights off in your room or placing whatever, some kind of towel over your eyes. I want you guys to scan over entire body from the crown of your head through your toes and notice if there's a place that you tend to hold on to right maybe you're holding on to a certain thought or an idea I want you to let go of that and I want you to take in a huge deep breath in through your nose and I want you to open your mouth and let it all out that two more times. Inhale through your nose. Open your mouth. Let it all out. <sighs> Inhale through your nose. Huge breath. Fill your lungs up to their fullest capacity. Open mouth. Exhale. <sighs> Close your mouth. Continue breathing. Continue letting go. I want you to let your skin soften. I want you to let your jaw Relax. Let your teeth unclench. Feel your arms getting really heavy. Just allow yourself to do nothing for a couple moments. Just letting your entire body reset, recharge, re-energize. And I hope that you guys can take all of these poses or even just a few of them that you can have in your back pocket as tools when you're feeling a little stressed or anxious. Even when you're feeling happy, these are great poses to do in your body. To come out of the Shavasana, you're going to inhale, reach your arms overhead, take a really deep stretch. You're going to exhale, hug your thighs to your chest. 
Slowly roll to one side, coming back up into seated. And let's take one last breath together. So come up into seated, Vasi. We're going to inhale, reach the arms overhead. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart center and bow into your heart. And take a moment to say thank you to yourself, to your body, for all the things it allows you to do. We always just say namaste at the end of a yoga class, which means that I honor and I respect you. Namaste.